Okay, if you were wanting mixed reality or VR on the Xbox One, you're gonna have a bad time. Basically, the decision has come down from Microsoft that the Xbox One will not be getting Windows Mixed Reality or VR headset support, neither in anytime soon or at all. And I can understand why, it's a little disappointing, but I can understand why they've decided to do this. Uh, for one, the next Xbox is likely in development, just as the next PlayStation is very much in development. And so they may be waiting for those machines, which will be a little more powerful than what's currently available now. Because you do need a lot of horsepower under the hood in order to do VR right. Because bad VR is really bad. And you want to do good VR because if you do it bad, you will get experiences like nausea from motion sickness because some people have problems with that. Because if you don't have a high frame rate with VR, people will get motion sickness. They'll get sick pretty bad I, I've never experienced it I've never experienced the whole motion sickness thing in VR a Tigra uh, he's he said he's never experienced any of it with his HTC HTC Vive <clears throat> so right now as it is VR is a thing that you can only do on the PlayStation 4 sort of and on PC and on the PC, you have Oculus Rift, you have the HTC Vive, you have the OS VR headset, the open source VR, and you have a plethora of other VR headsets that are out from different manufacturers, a lot of them Chinese, but some of them are good, some of them are like, ew, what the heck were they thinking about? But VR as an experience on PC, is transformative if you play games like the star trek bridge crew in vr you can play it on a regular screen now but if you play it in vr it's a completely different experience elite dangerous putting my issues with the game aside is absolutely incredible in vr that game is completely transformed it's a com it's almost a completely different game when you play it in virtual reality when you're flying in and out of stations, when you dive into the rings of a planet, and you fly among the rocks of the ice, bl ice rocks of the of the rings. It's completely different. It's a new experience, completely transformative. And there's a lot of games that have 2D and VR support baked in, and there's a lot of games that are coming that work in VR only. And it's not a fad. It's definitely worth playing. Because we have Fallout 4 VR and we have Skyrim VR. And these are full-on AAA games. These aren't just glorified tech demos. And we need more of those. VR is still very much in its infancy. This technology is still very much improving. We've got new graphics cards from AMD and NVIDIA on the horizon. Uh, I believe next year we'll be getting some new NVIDIA cards and AMD has got their new technology coming. So VR is only going to get better over time. The technology is only going to improve. And as that happens, invariably the price will also come down. So that's the other barrier to entry for virtual reality on PC right now. So the reasons why the Xbox One isn't getting any VR support is, well, the next Xbox is in development. And that one will use the next generation GPU technology from AMD. And that should be able to allow that Xbox to run a VR or Windows Mixed Reality experience. So they may be waiting for that better technology to come along. So the current Xbox probably can't do it. I know the base Xbox can't, 
and the Xbox One X probably couldn't either. Uh, they are a little more powerful to be able to push 4K, but but frankly, a lot of games aren't able to go full 4K on either the Xbox One X or PS4 Pro. And they're definitely not able to really push 60 frames per second. With VR, you need those high frame rates. You have to. To have it it's not just a oh I want to have it no it's a have to have it thing because if you don't you're going to experience things like motion sickness and, and nausea using the headset faster frame rates help to minimize that and there's some other optical and on-screen tricks that developers can use in order to give your mind something to focus on to prevent you from getting to Keep you from getting nauseous. In Elite Dangerous, that's simple. You have the you have the interior of your cockpit to, for your mind to focus on, while everything else around you outside the cockpit view is moving around. And there are some tricks and things that are done in Fallout 4 VR and Skyrim VR that while you're moving, while you're moving, it sort of blackens the edges of the screen so that you have something to focus on while you are moving or so your mind has something to focus on while you're moving around and it minimizes the chances of having that effect that's that those are some of the hurdles and the price is a hurdle but those things are things we can get around the technical capabilities of the consoles is not so easily solved. You can't just release a software update for the Xbox One X and automatically give it 10 times more processing power. You have to have new hardware. So the reason why the Xbox One isn't getting VR or Windows Mixed Reality is likely that Microsoft is waiting for the next iteration of the console they're waiting for the next version to, so that they can have the hardware to be able to handle VR and Windows Mixed Reality better. That the current technology just isn't good enough. Because the PSVR, you know, it, it, it works. It's good. It's been moderately successful for Sony. But Sony's console can barely do it. It can barely do it, and it has to make some compromises in order to make it make it work. They really should have waited until the next generation, but that's why that's why Xbox is not getting it. I am Mike Dezorch. Thanks for watching.